what's up everybody welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while i took a break because life was life in and i needed to just rest because i was beginning to feel overwhelmed but i'm back now and today we are going to be talking about something very very important i know i'm the queen of gatekeeping and i keep a lot of skincare secrets away from you guys but sis hear me out if i divulge everything to you you will not be coming back to watch my videos and that is the honest truth the first time i saw this picture on instagram and on tiktok i was like sis i need to know what you use on your skin because look at all these girls especially any given sunday on tiktok this particular lady right here now this body oil combination has really really improved my skin's texture appearance and of course tone now i've discovered that some of you actually asked me in the comment section yes we know we are supposed to be using a glowing oil but is there a specific combination of oils that we should be using that is what today's video is about now if you're interested the combination includes massage body oils and carrier body oils let me repeat myself massage oils and carrier oils now picture this whenever you go to the spa and you're trying to get your body massage in and you're trying to feel pampered they use a particular kind of oil on your skin that relaxes your muscles relieves you of stress calms anxiety has a beautiful aroma and fragrance and of course penetrates into your skin in order to make sure that your skin stays hydrated nourished and beautiful now it is that massage oil that we are going to be combining with glow oils or carrier oils right now carrier oils now carrier oils are base oils that you mix your massage oils with in order to ensure that it penetrates into your skin it evens your skin and it glows your skin now carrier oils on its own would naturally just stay on the surface of your skin and that is what some of you use and that is why some of you also complain that i use a glow oil i use a carrier oil but i'm not really seeing a huge change now glow oils or carrier oils will really just stay on the surface of your skin they don't really penetrate as fast as um massage oils because they are thick and they are rich okay but carrier oils will help to glow your skin even out your skin tone and of course help to soften your skin but if you want to get that glazed do not shining appearance and you want your skin to feel hydrated and you also want a little bit of aroma in your body glowing oil you are going to need the recipe that i'm about to give you okay so welcome to your diy class and bring out your notepads and screenshot some of these products that i'm going to be examining and talking to you about in today's video because i'm going to be giving you all combinations that you can mix together on your own in order to achieve a beautiful shiny smooth glowy skin d3 is what we are working with today now the first thing you need to know when it comes to massage oils is this they are essential oils and as such you cannot just use it directly on your skin because if you are of the sensitive your skin gets easily irritated kind of skin type your skin is going to produce or um, react in a very terrible way and you start seeing allergic reactions so let me just mention that as a disclaimer for my girls out there now the first combination that i want to give you guys today is my absolute favorite and i've been using this for about a week now and i love 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 i love my body oil process right now because before when i use body oils i just feel like it's thick and it just stays on the surface of my skin and it makes me sweat out but these two combinations right now and that is the lavender oil and the coconut oil is my favorite right now and this one is particularly good if your skin is dry to normal skin now first let's examine the carrier oil in this equation which is coconut oil coconut oil is naturally rich okay it will glow your skin soften your skin smoothen your skin now when you add lavender oil into the equation lavender oil is very good for fading skin discoloration it has been told that it also helps with body sunburn if you have sunburn spots on your skin it helps to nourish the skin and it has a way of relieving anxiety and stress so i love the beautiful fragrance that comes from the lavender oil and then when i mix it with the coconut oil it just gives me this perfect recipe now before when i use coconut oil on a regular it would just stay on the surface of my skin and make me sweat out now what i do is to mix about two drops if i'm trying to apply it directly now two drops of lavender oil and then i use five drops of coconut oil because lavender oil is very very concentrated you cannot just put it directly on your skin you are going to see a very terrible reaction so i'd advise you if you are trying to mix it in a particular bottle for example do the tablespoon 
um, method. That is one tablespoon of lavender oil equals to two tablespoons of carrier oil or three tablespoons. That is how to do it. Now follow that ratio as you mix it into a bottle that you'll be using on a daily basis. Now the next category is for my queens that are already 40 and above. Your skin is matured and you want something that would absolutely work for you in the body glowing oil category. I would recommend that you go for Yasmin oil and ohoba oil and i'm going to tell you why i chose these two combinations for you now yasmin oil is an exotic floral flower that's yasmin as a plant on its own when the oil is diffused out of the flower petals and it is turned into an essential oil that oil is very very good for anti-aging purposes that means if you've noticed wrinkles on your skin you have uh, uh, dry patches on your skin you notice that your skin is gradually losing its elasticity and youthfulness you are going to want to embrace yasmin oil in your own body oil combination now if you're already 40 and above you want to make sure that your skin has a very youthful compelling appearance to it like let people see you from afar and be wondering is she 40 or 50 or is she in her mid 50s i know a particular youtuber online that she does not joke with body butters and body oil and she's a already 53 and you would not be able to tell it is only when you look at her facially and you see some wrinkles on her face that you can tell that she's that advanced in age and that is because body oils will help to ensure that your skin stays elastic and youthful for a long period of time now not just any kind of body oil now but this particular combination because yasmin is an exotic musky kind of floral essential oil that is very very good for people who are already advanced in age now when you mix it with ohoba oil ohoba oil is very very rich in vitamin e and we know how vitamin e helps to improve the skin's youthfulness and of course helps to curb dryness and any kind of hyperpigmentation that you can have on your body especially when it also comes to age spots and patches on your skin that is beginning to wrinkle out now when you combine the yasmin oil in the same ratio that i gave you the last time that's one tablespoon of yasmin oil goes with two tablespoons of ohoba oil together in a particular bottle and you just put it somewhere on the surface of your dressing table or something and you use it day in day out your skin will gradually start to shine glow and you will start noticing a huge result when it comes to your skin's youthfulness and of course its elasticity now some people are feeling left out and those are my acne prone skin bodies that is if you have issues like keratosis pilaris on your legs on your body you have body acne you have back acne you have spots on your body that has refused to go this combination is for you and that is lemon oil and grape seed oil now something just popped in my head and i need to tell you guys this this is very very important now using a combination like this like i'm giving to you guys is not a necessary ticket to you seeing results in two weeks three weeks everything is going to completely fade out and your skin will be spotless and your skin will be spotless like a baby's no that is not what i'm trying to tell you and that is not what i'm preaching i'm telling you that if you are consistent with this equation that i'm giving you your skin is going to be glowy shiny and smooth like gradually your spots your acne spots your acne scars on your body on your back some of you have acne scars on your chest here like this like this two, 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 and on your back and on your feet and on your legs some of you need to focus on those things before you start thinking of brightening bleaching and lightning that is not the solution these combinations that i'm giving you is going to work but you need to give it time between like four weeks to six weeks and to two months you start gradually noticing a huge change first it is how even your skin is going to start looking secondly your skin is going to glow and then lastly your skin is going to become soft shiny and beautiful those are the stages of progress that you should be trying to measure when you're using a body oil now lemon oil has natural aha that's alpha hydroxy acid and citric acid that gently exfoliates the skin now if you're trying to remove scars on your body you're trying to remove spots on your skin lemon oil is going to work for you because it is going to gradually exfoliate those spots away from the surface of your skin to reveal fresh beautiful skin that you really are looking forward to seeing so that is what lemon oil is going to do now lemon oil is not just going to target hyperpigmentation it's going also going to fix discoloration it also has a way of gradually brightening up the skin 
note i said gradually because some of you are going to just skip the one that you are actually supposed to use because i mentioned lemon oil works for brightening now you will only use lemon oil and you might not see changes i'm just telling you now if you don't have spots on your legs acne on your chest all those things you don't necessarily need it because lemon oil is highly concentrated it is an anti-inflammatory oil it even adds antibacterial properties inside it if you open it like normally if you open lemon oil it is very concentrated and the smell is very very strong so if you don't use it properly your skin is going to become worse than it currently is now when you use it with grapeseed oil grapeseed oil is a lightweight acne prone skin oil I've noticed that most people with acne prone skin, keratosis pilaris, your skin is already very oily and it has a lot of oil build up on the surface. So when you're trying to embrace body oil into your skincare routine, you need something lightweight and thin. So grapeseed oil is going to work when you combine it with lemon oil. So you're going to use one tablespoon of lemon oil to two tablespoons of grapeseed oil in a bottle. That is how you're going to mix it in the form of DIY. Now, if you're going to be using this mixture for a long period of time, I would encourage you to also add a few drops of vitamin E so that it does not expire or go rancid. Some of you have good skincare products like body lotions in your wardrobe that you've completely abandoned because whenever you apply it on your body, you say things like, I feel like I'm sweating, I don't like how my skin feels. That is absolutely normal. So you need to make sure that you know your skin type and you are using the compatible body care products for you. So if your skin is acne prone, your skin already has enough oil, you don't need a thick, rich oil. No, you need something thin, lightweight, and that will easily penetrate into your skin without making your skin feel heavy. And that is why the lemon oil and the grapeseed oil is the perfect combination for you. So now let me summarize everything that we've talked about today. So if you're like me and your skin is dry to normal, lavender oil plus coconut oil is the best combination of glowing oil that you should use. If your skin is above 40 and you're already aging, Yasmin oil and ojoba oil is very, very good for you. It is perfect for those who are trying to work on anti-aging. Now, if your skin is acne prone, you have acne on your chest, acne on your back, and you're trying to fade discoloration spots that have been there for a while, and you've used all sorts and it's not changing or improving, lemon oil and grapeseed oil is going to work for you. Okay, now that brings me to the closure of today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Which of these oils have you tried before in the past? And did you see a huge change? I know currently I'm using the lavender oil and the coconut oil and I have been loving the entire process. I love how smooth and soft and shiny my skin is and I abs I'm in love with the scent and the aroma that comes from the two mixtures together. I just, I just love the entire self-care process. Okay. Now let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give me a huge thumbs up. In case you don't know, if you don't press the like button, which is the thumbs up button, YouTube is going to think my video, you did not enjoy it or you did not like it or you did not find it helpful and they will not push it to other people who also need advice like this. So please help us on the channel by giving me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe, please subscribe and share this video with your friends. And also try this DIY and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.